Hey, what's good, family? Hope y'all having a blessed Lent. Uh, today, here in Japan, is March 12th, 2023. And for me, it is a very special day because, it's, because it is exactly 10 years to the day that I came to Japan uh, to live and work. I arrived here, well, obviously, March 12th, 2013. And uh, I was sitting there talking to my daddy a couple of minutes ago. And I, I can't believe it's been a decade that I've done been here. I remember I got here and it was maybe about, uh, maybe within my first year, I think at least my first two years, I sat down, I called Father John up on the phone and I sat there, uh, freaking out this is going to play back to like what the saints and you know elders tell us about basically just saying <laughs> screw our thoughts i sitting there freaking out to him like father i've been i don't want to come here my whole life i've had this this burning passion to come here like i just like screaming in my soul saying i have to be here what if something happens i gotta leave i, I think at that time i was i don't know worried about because I was, I was really sucking at my job. And, uh, you know, if any of y'all ever come here to do any type of English teaching or whatnot, or any type of contract work, or any, you know, if you go to any foreign land as a contracted worker, you, there might be a point where you start tripping out, like, if, especially if you're not doing a good job at your work, where they might kick you out, you might have to go home, you know what I mean? So I'm sitting there, that freak out thing, they're going to, kicked me out and I gotta go home and I didn't want to come here for so long I'm like I can't I can't have this taken from me I was like what if this gets taken from me and all sorts of stuff so I called father and he said man God didn't brought you here essentially he's like be thankful and if you know God requires you to be in another place then be grateful for that which I was like I didn't, I didn't really want to hear that because like no I want you to tell me if it's going to be alright here but you know he's you're right, you're right. Uh, and I think years later, one of my boys gave me the, uh, the same, uh, similar advice. Um, but at that time, I was basically thinking, I'm gonna leave or something bad's gonna happen. And this blessing that the Lord has, has bestowed upon me, I ought not rejoice in it and be too happy with it. It's gonna get taken away. And then here I am. A, a decade later, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, I think today, like every year on the anniversary of me coming here, I kind of have similar thoughts, but I think today, especially because it's, it's, it's a nice rounded number and it's a decade, you know? Um, I think it's. It, I'm going to do a lot of reflecting today about how. I really need to stop listening to my thoughts, you heard me? Because I was sitting there thinking yesterday and today, because yesterday was March 11th, and you know, may, may the Lord embrace all those departed due to the earthquake and the tsunami and the radiation from the great earthquake, and the Lord be with them all and, and embrace their families. And uh, so I was sitting there with that yesterday. It was also like the, the 10th anniversary of me leaving the States because I left on March 11th, which the people back in Fukushima, the company I worked at with, the school I was at was in Fukushima. And they said, bro, you're going to Fukushima on the 11th of March. I'm like, well, there's something there. But anyway, uh, so I said, I think it yesterday and today, kind of, I really need to just stop listening to my thoughts, man. Or at least change it. Uh, one of my boys after church, after Great Vespers last night, sent me a, a quote. I think of Saint Ephraim, uh, uh, Elder Ephraim of Arizona. He probably gonna be a saint though soon, so you know might might, might want to get some practice with that in. But um, um, and um, was basically like saying sin and everything just starts with our thoughts. You dig? And um, and what's, what's that word? Ruminating, where you sit there and you just like. Is it ruminating? Is that the word? Ruminate, where you kind of sit there and you just replay thoughts over and over again in your head. 
that don't serve you no purpose. You're just repeating them thoughts. I, I, I does that. <laughs> and I need to not do that anymore. And so I sit there thinking, God will, and show love, I'm blessed with another decade here. Or just another decade. Uh, another day. I should start with another day. Uh, I need to not do that. You know, you know, screw it. Force myself to be happy on the inside. At least hopeful. I mean, at least start battling the thoughts. You dig know, you know me saying? So, anyway, that's my ramble. I hope y'all having a good one. Uh, I posted something last night about a fellow Orthodox YouTuber, Orthodox Reviews. Uh, the brother seems like he, uh, he going through a period right now. So it looks like he may need some help. And this brother actually, if you don't know Orthodox Reviews, my man's, my man's be, be posting some real content. Not me, I just be talking to my camera. I don't do nothing. But this brother be actually putting in work. So he needs, I think, all the support he can get in whatever form it may be. Y'all go go check out that post. Uh, he, uh, he going through some stuff. So, you know, let, let's help our brother out. Anyway, love y'all. Pray for me. Keep up the struggle, and I'll holler at y'all later.